Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are building the Simpsons house today. I have been promising to build this for quite a long time, actually, since I built the Quickie Mart last year. It has taken me this long to get to it, but finally, 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 we can build it. So there are seven, well, bags labeled up to number seven. There are, there are three books in here and a little sheet of stickers. So this is going to take some time. There are two and a half thousand bricks and let's meet the minifigure. Of course we need minifigures. Of course we need Bart. His skateboard's got no wheels on at the moment, so it's not going to cause too much trouble until we put some wheels on it. And the sticker. And now he's ready to go out and wreak some havoc on his skateboard. We've also got Lisa. Uh, actually, we've got the whole family of this. They don't all come in bag number one. I have pinched them out of the other bags, so we'll meet them with their accessories as each of the bags get opened. We've put a skirt on. She's wearing what we're used to seeing Lisa in. She looks a bit worried. Look at that. She might be a bit worried because I might have put her skirt on the wrong way around. I'm not so sure. Let me try again. Yeah, I'm still not convinced that's right either, but we'll leave it like that for now. Oh, oh no wonder she looks... No wonder she looks worried. She has to live with Bart. And here's a pair of <laughs> minifigure legs just wearing knickers. So we'll put the skirt on and the apron. And this, of course, belongs to Marge Simpson. Here she is with her iconic blue hair and her red necklace. And she is going to look after... Yeah, she's going to look after Lisa. He wouldn't dare knock her over with Mum right next to her. And, of course, there's Maggie. Maggie, who is almost as big as a normal-sized minifigure. <laughs> Where's she gone? Oh, she's stolen Bart's skateboard. And yeah, Bart looks cross. <laughs> okay, back in here, Maggie. And of course we need Homer Simpson. He is dressed for work in a very snazzy tie, dressed for work at the nuclear power plant. And he's got his briefcase with all of his important papers in it, which he probably never opens and he probably never reads. If, and he can't actually hold it. Yes, he can. Okay, Homer's ready. Oh. He just got knocked over by a lovely kiss from Marge. And Maggie's off. Oh, Bart's gone to get his skateboard back. Oh, that was quick. Oh, leave Lisa alone. Come on. Okay, we've got the whole family. There's also another minifigure included here. Also wearing an apron. It says, hail to the chef. Here we've got Ned Diddley Flanders. Ned Flanders says, hi, hi, Diddley, hi. Hi, Homer. Hi, Ned. Uh, okay, so we'll put Ned over here. And we've got a whole heap of little builds to do. First up, we've got this really funky green wheelbarrow. And on the back of the green wheelbarrow is a sticker that says property of Ned Flanders. So currently Ned has this in his possession with some plants in it, some beautiful flowers, plant pots. And he's taking them out to put them around the yard. Uh, and Homer would just like to borrow the trailer just for a little while, wheelbarrow just for a little while to carry around his briefcase and he'll return it really soon, I'm sure. Yep. <laughs> Poor Ned has to carry his own pot plants now. Next little tiny build. This is actually an ingenious way to build little deck chairs. And there's fruit cocktails there. Poor Marge can't sit on that very comfortably, thanks to her skirt. But Homer can, he can relax really well. And there are two of these and the cocktails. And if we're doing some outdoor living furniture, of course we need a barbecue. So the barbecue is next, obviously. It also has, <laughs> it also has got a sticker that says property of Ned Flanders. So this has been borrowed from Ned. And we're cooking some sausages. Good, okay. Could I just borrow this barbecue, Ned? Yeah, thank you. Not ready to return it. And we've got some green here and a skateboard ramp with El Bato graffitied on it. So Bart is responsible for this and he can use that to do some tricks on his skateboard. We are absolutely flying along now. Now we have got the iconic pink car <laughs> that Homer travels to work in. We'll put it together and then we'll have a quick look at it. Because we've got a whole house to build yet. <laughs> so much in here. That's cool, that's the gear stick. And in the back we've got a bit of boot room.
There's actually barely enough space there to fit, fit a passenger in, or even to fit the driver in. But there is a tape deck in it, so that's good. And the little crumpled bit, so the, the, the accident that he's had, the bit that's dented, is shown there. That's really cool. We've got the registration plates on. And the boot is now open. We can put Maggie in there. No, we can't. Maggie does not belong in the boot. We've got the side mirrors are on, and now we just need some wheels. Some headlights and some brake lights. And we're going to put a radioactive bar in the boot because he's taken it home accidentally. And we can put his suitcase in there so he can head off to work. Good job, Ned, and you got your wheelbarrow back. That's good. We're up to bag number two. We are starting on the house. And there are so many tan bricks in this build. We're starting in the garage, actually. It's not quite the house. It's connected. It will, in eventually, it will be connected to the house. So let's go. We've got some smooth white bits over there. And we've got some hooks. And what is inside the Simpsons garage, apart from the pink car? Well, there is a tool table, tool bench. <laughs> you can tell I don't use tool bench very often. There's a tool chest there and there's a vise. So they go on the little jumpers over there. There's a broom. And now we've got somewhere to hold all the tools. Tool storage area. This is a cool way to do it. And a little grill at the top. And we've got a whole heap of tins of paint. They're very colourful stored up there. And all the tools go in the box down there. And that one goes over there too. Good. All right. So that's basically it for the inside of the garage because there needs to be room, obviously, for the car to fit in. But it looks really good. Look at that. Now we just need to put in all of those tan pieces, which are going to build up all the walls. And, of course, we need a garage door. So let's get on to that. There. There. That works really well. That's simple, but really effective. Ah, and all those angled pieces are really good for Bart to be able to just slalom over the top. Some little windows up high on the front and the back. And now, now we need the roof, the peaked roof. And this roof is entirely detachable, so it's in two sections and you can take it completely off nice and easily just by lifting it. Lifting it off, it doesn't clip down anywhere, it just sits in place. Like that. And that way we can access the middle, but I've left out some rather important bricks here, so we're just going to do a bit of dismantling. Put them in really fast, and I've missed these out too. This is what happens when you get to the end of the bag and go, I've got some pieces left that really shouldn't be left over. These belong here on the tool storage, and we're going to put the oil can on there, and no wonder, we couldn't fit everything down there. <laughs> and the electric screwdriver, the drill, and now we can put everything else down in the box, and that fits a lot better than it did when I built it the first time. So good, we've got this little side door too, which is going to lead into the main house. And now we can park the pink car in and Homer will be able to enter the house from there inside the garage. That's pretty cool. Okay, we finished the garage. Let's move people out of the way. Whoop, hold on. We're up to bag number three. They can't do their little opening sequence yet because we haven't got the house. So this is the bag that Flanders comes in and he gets his spatula there for barbecuing. And now we are starting on the house. Here's our front entryway into the front door. Some nice green around it and lots and lots of smooth tiles for two different room areas. One's going to be the living room and the other one's going to be the kitchen. And of course they're going to need those bay windows as well that are also, I'm going to use the word iconic a lot, but it's what we are used to seeing from the Simpsons house. You see them, you immediately identify it as the Simpsons house. And inside the kitchen, we're now putting in the kitchen bench with some nice drawers. And some cups up on the bench top. And now we've got to keep going on the chimney and all those tan pieces to build up the walls. Now, oh, okay, this is cool. 
This is one of the pieces of furniture inside. This is, a, is the piano. Oh, I love it. And we need a sticker, of course, for the music, for the sheet music. And down the bottom are where the pedals would be. Well, that's very clever. And this is the stool, nice and low. So Lisa, who can't sit down because she's got the little, the little legs, which don't bend. Oh, come on, but you can't skateboard over the piano. Now we're adding some more to the kitchen. Got a mixer, we've got a frying pan. It's all going here over the bench top. And I can't get the piano to stay right in properly. I'm not sure whether I've done something wrong. I'll have to have another look at the instructions. Okay, lots of windows, eight of these to be precise, to go around our bay windows, four on each. And now it looks great. And we have hinges on the top to angle it to hold them all in nicely. They don't hinge, they just hold it on an angle. Some more archways to make some internal structure for the house. And it's really, really starting to look fantastic now. And the door opens inwards. And now we've got some benches, sorry, some cupboards above the kitchen bench. And the kitchen is also looking great. And we're putting the rooftop on the top of that first level and we need out the front a mailbox and one little piece of mail that's such a cute little mailbox all right time for oh, time for bag number four it's looking absolutely great and now we're actually going to extend the floor plan of the first level of the house we're only halfway done because it actually hinges open with two big areas you're going to see as we go. So we've seen these colors inside, the, the blue and the yellow are for the kitchen and the light blue here, the aqua is for the, the living room. It's about to say lounge room. Do you call it a living room or a lounge room? Lots and lots of smooth tiles in here. And this orange one is the mat, which we're used to seeing right in the middle, middle of the living room. We're going to need the couch soon. We've started the stairs. Here we go. The stairs are going to go up and they're actually going to interconnect with the next floor. And this is the other side of the kitchen. So this is more of the kitchen bench or kitchen preparing area and a little sink and some more stairs. This is very PC, we go back, back and forth to different areas. There, that's part of the sink. And this is a stove with a pot on it. Oh, Maggie's gone straight into the kitchen. And here, once again, iconic, absolutely, you look at it, you know exactly who it belongs to. The couch, the Simpsons couch. So everybody on, everybody bundle in. Check it out, there's not actually enough room for everybody. <laughs> All right, and in the living room, there's also a little side table with a telephone on it. What a cute build. So that goes right next to the couch. Oh, there's a little space there for Marge at the back. Now, this here is also something that has to be in the living room. It's the television. It's got the little cat's ears on the top, the antennae, and they're watching, of course, the Itchy and Scratchy show, and I have done that upside down. So hold on a moment. Let me get that right. No, <laughs> third time lucky. Good. Okay. Now we're good. And it goes over here and they're watching it. Look at that. That's what they're seeing from their angle. Oh, Bart's off. It's not, not keeping him interested at all. So this joins on here and it hinges together or it's supposed to. Hold on. I've done something wrong here. That little black hook's supposed, I'll put it around the wrong way. There, this should work now. Let's try again. 
There. So I'll put the, put the piano back in because it keeps falling out. And now we'll keep building up all of these walls. And some more windows. And a door here, the back door into the kitchen. putting so many tan bricks on to get these walls up and ready for the next level. Now we're starting to put some of the smooth ones on. Before we put the smooth ones on, there's a tiny build to go in the living room. It's a teeny vacuum cleaner, look at that! And there's the picture, of course we know this one sits over the top of the couch, the sofa in the living room. I'm not sure I've got that on quite so straight, that's better. And the vacuum just sits in here, <laughs> that's so cool! Okay, we've got some banisters going up now and we're moving on to the second floor. Smooth parts going on, like I said before, just on that area. These ones, the other rooms all get put on properly. Okay, a table down here, the dinner table. And it's got a couple of red mugs on it and we need some chairs. So four members of the family, we're gonna need four chairs they're pretty good and they all have to fit into this little tiny space here so let's see how we go we're not going to be able to open the door the door opens inwards <laughs> the chair keeps falling off oh definitely keeps falling off but there'll be space when we shut it okay we're up to bag number five I'm actually going to continue building because we've got the whole second floor to do Bart's room and Lisa's room and parents room so you're gonna have to join me for the next video so make sure you subscribe make sure you click the notification bell so you get notified when new videos going up give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and I'll be back with the next part of this build very very soon